All right, so today I wanted to talk about four Mac apps that I recently started using a little bit more, recently discovered. Uh, I think three out of four of these are actually new additions to, uh, to my computer, to my laptop. And one of them is something I used, had for a while and then started using a little more. So uh, it's not that many, it's four, but uh, I personally like watching videos like this of discovering new apps to use. Uh, in terms of productivity and just overall usability and user experience of your uh, of your computer or Mac. In this case, it's a Mac. Uh, anyways, let's dive right into it. We're going to start with the first app here, which you've probably all heard of by now. It's it's exponentially taken off and been spoken about, and that's a calculator app called Numi. Uh, I'll leave all the links in the description below. But this is probably one of the, if not the most gorgeous calculator apps on the internet. I don't know if it's available for Windows. I don't believe it is. No, it's not. I'm on their website. It's not available for Windows. It's specifically for Mac. Maybe there's a Windows alternative somewhere, but it's absolutely wonderful to use. It's very simple, very elegant. Uh, you just have a little pop-up box here and you type literally anything you want in terms of conversions for temperature, currency, units of measurement, anything, and you have it, have the product listed on uh, the right side. So it's very easy to use, simple, very nice. You have both dark and light themes, so that's always fun. And one thing to note about this is there is a paid activation license for uh, individual computers. That said, I'm not sure why, because I have just the downloaded free uh, DMG that you download. I believe it's a DMG. Let me just double check here. Uh, yes, it is. It's a DMG file. So I just have sort of like that set up and it works perfectly fine. Although if you go on their website, there's a little buy section and it's about $20, I think, depending on your currency. And it's, I think, yeah, 20 US. That's why I'm in Canada. So that's why I say about. So uh, it's 20 US, I would gladly pay for it. I'm not gonna pay for it until my app stops working because for me, I'm just doing very simple calculations and it's not asking me or forcing me to buy it. You know, I'm just being honest with you guys, uh, but I would happily pay for it, but you can use it for free. It seems like you can use it for free uh, unless I guess there's some sort of uh, more advanced features that I just haven't used and it's not telling me that I need to pay. So that's just something to that's worth mentioning for it but it's i would highly recommend checking it out if you guys do you know frequent conversions you work in in separate current in different currencies frequently or you just like want to have something a little bit more advanced than the uh, stock calculator app on your mac which is basically just a port of the iphone calculator which you know it's a little bit boring there's no history there's no uh saves or anything on numi you can basically just quit the app and then once you reopen it it'll save whatever you have you can also export it as a text file you do a lot more things than the traditional mac calculator app and it's also very lightweight it's not like a very clunky very um, heavy interface like i said it's very simple so it's light and it runs really quick now the next app i want to talk about is called drop zone 4 it's an app that's greatly enhanced my productivity and the way i transfer files uh, via AirDrop, as well as move files and upload to Google Drive. Just basically anytime you want to move files, this is the app I'm using. It's more of an extension of the Mac. It's not really an app you launch. It's something you you can launch it on startup, but it's something that lives on your um, on your top uh, menu bar. So basically the way it works is once it's launched, any app that or any file you begin to drag you'll see a little box pop up in the top right corner and what that allows you to do is drag your file onto that little drop bar tab and it'll keep it there so it'll memorize essentially the location of that file and then whatever you drag you go once you go back to the drop bar and drag that file to your desired location whether it be uh on an internet uh, Google Drive upload tab or 
literally anywhere you want to move the file. It just enhances and makes it a lot more easy. It makes it a lot easier to drag and move files. It's a breeze to use. It's really quick. Like I said, it's lightweight as well. It's not very clunky. It's more of just an extension that lives on your, your top bar. So the next app I want to talk about is something that benefits the cleanliness and the uh, clutter uh, sort of area of your Mac. So as you install and uninstall apps on a Mac, it's very easy to uninstall. You open up your applications folder and you drag it to the trash bin or you right click it and click delete. It's very simple. But the problem with that is that it'll leave sort of little cache files or little just little lingering files around which if you're like me you don't like to have those lingering around and uh, just taking up space for no reason it's not that much space you're not really gaining additional storage space but you're just making it a lot more clean you're just it's more of a peace of mind thing for me so i don't like using apps like clean my mac or uh, what's another one like any of these disk sweeping apps that uh, claim to increase the speed and the storage of your Mac I'm personally not a fan of those some people will go back and forth saying it benefits some people say don't I don't have an opinion on that I don't know if it works I don't know if it doesn't but it's something I just don't really want on my laptop so I prefer using something like this it's called uh, app cleaner like I said I've linked all the, the links in the description this is something that I found actually from a YouTube video and I decided to include in mine because I loved it so much. It's very, very, very easy to use. All of these apps are very easy to use. Once you launch App Cleaner, it pops up a little window. It says drop your app here. You go into your applications folder, drag the app you want to delete into there and it'll scan and basically remove all the apps that your all the folders from the app that is taking up space. It's something that's very easy to use, something that's free, and it just, it does, it, it does the job. It shows you a list of where the folders are, and it's gonna delete them, and it's gonna free up all that clutter. So that's why I like App Cleaner. The fourth and final app I'm gonna talk about is more of a privacy, privacy thing, and more of a, uh, you know, if people like using Netflix in other countries, it's gonna be Proton VPN. Now this is something I recently started using on my iphone as well as my mac it is free with paid upgrades i'm on the free plan i don't really use it more than than that uh, the free version works fine for me so proton is a company that's focused on privacy and encryption and security and all that stuff so when i was looking for a vpn i found this one and i really liked it the design was really nice the the, the brand and the reputation of proton uh, spoke to me and, and you know just, I agreed with what their company stands for so it was a really secure and easy VPN to get like I said there's a free plan so that's perfectly fine like for me it works great and uh, so with the free plan you can connect to Japan Netherlands and the United States and yeah that's it's just a VPN that works so I know there's a lot of VPNs out there everyone knows of the big names i'm not going to start listing all the vpns but yeah that's that's basically the video so i just want to share these four apps so thanks for watching and uh i'll see you in the next video let me know what you thought of all these apps let me know if you tried them and peace out